Alright, I do believe what that means is that this quest is broken. Hmm. He said his brother returns, and now he's not willing to speak with us, despite the fact that we never found his brother. That's kind of odd. Let's go by date. Yeah, apparently that part of the quest isn't even in the quest log anymore. That's odd. Hmm. Well, that's what happens when you use mods. I mean, that's just part of how it runs. Yeah, he won't talk to us anymore. Alright, well... <laughs> I guess we really can't complete that part of the, <laughs> the quest. Uh, unless we... Uh, Want to try to figure out a way around it? I don't really know. Hmm. I wonder if there is a way around it. Nothing more. Well, let's think about this for a second. Hmm. Hold on just a moment. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, yep, yeah, so after a bit of research, it turns out that uh, the quest is just broken. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, this little part of the unfinished business mod, which I otherwise I think is a pretty interesting and fun mod, yeah, it just doesn't appear to be working properly, but uh, that's okay. It's not like it was a really important quest anyway. I think the group should be focusing on their actual heroic business of trying to save Herr Delis on the from the uh, behalf of Realis Shy, and uh, we do suspect where we might be able to do that, which would be down in the entrance to the sewers. Oh yes. Yeah, so that's right about the general area where. Uh, we believe progress can be made here. So we just gotta shuffle on down in that direction. Shouldn't take very long. As for which place to search, whether it's that hidden area on the left or the hidden area on the right, Carrot is more inclined to go to the hidden area on the left. It's because it doesn't seem to be filled with corpses. That's always a good sign. Generally. <laughs> place isn't a, uh, you know, horrible uh, dungeon of ultimate doom and death and despair. Just as I thought. It's always, always a good thing. I wonder whether we should have Minsa's focus on the flail now rather than Lyricor. It's because it is a good weapon, and it would let him use his shield, which is yeah, a pretty decent shield, which would definitely help his armor class. He's not nearly as good with it as he is with other two-handed weapons, though. Hmm. Oh, fine. I'll put Lord Lacor back in his hands. It just, if he gets annoying, I'm going to have to take him off again. Hopefully this will uh, lead somewhere promising. You must gather... Oh, methods. That's not good. I can dance That's on not good at all. Well. Alright, stone skin. My mighty mages. Here, uh, it is get him. Little help, guys. Oh, those methods weren't so bad. Hmm. Can we go further up? Doesn't look like it. But we can search this library, see if there's anything interesting here. Looks like all uh, of the bookshelves are accessible. None of them appear to be trapped. History of Halrua and Gandigo the Lost King. A scroll, spell deflection. And history of the North. Scroll, con scroll contingency and history of Shadowdale. 
couple of uh, nice finds there in terms of scrolls. Anything the cure can use. Well, he already has contingency, so we'll save that. Spell Deflection, another powerful abjuration spell that unfortunately is beyond him. Causes spells cast against the wizard to be absorbed and consumed. This affects a total of 10 spell levels. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's continue searching the place. However, it'd be most prudent to do so. Jump on my sword while you can, Ibar. I won't be as gentle. While invisible. Which is what Yan can help Yoshima with. Yoshimo is willing. Okay, Yoshimo. See what traps you can find. Wow. Two trap chests in here. Alright, traps are dealt with. Oh wow, Umber Hulks. Luckily they cannot sense him through his invisibility. Oh, oh, there are traps in here though. That's trouble. What's down here? Oh, a dead end. I don't know, maybe he can get rid of these traps really quickly and quietly. Okay. There appears to be a trap over there, but, yeah. Not gonna risk it. There's a man here. Would that be here to lease, the one we're looking for? I don't know. I serve only Master Mekrath. Oh. Yeah, that's got mind control written all over it. It appears as if construction for a second level was started, but never finished. Nature could find a home here if it was properly hmm. cleansed and balanced. Healing potion found. Always welcome. Woohoo! Traps over this way. Yoshimo doing his thing. Is there a trap on the altar itself? You betcha there is. Can it be unlocked? Mechanism does not have a conventional lock and may be warranted against simple spells. All the world is blind to my passing. Hmm. That's gonna be an issue there. Do we have anybody that's immune to all those crazy mind effects that they have? Doesn't Lair Liquor grant immunity to that stuff? Immunity to charm and confusion. Huh. That might be Live just what he by needs. The sword. Live a good it's possible we can just All have Minsk kind of funnel them through that way. I wonder if there's any neat spells we can cast on him in order to make it easier for him. Blur really only affects himself. Um, hmm. We could give him improved invisibility. That might be useful. And bark skin, of course. Oh, that should be enough for him. Stand back for justice. Look at all those attempted confusions. This is not going to work. Bring it here, buddies. All right, we can bring in our archers to uh, provide a little cover fire from the rear. I wouldn't dream of refusing. Yeah, they can try to confuse them. It's just not going to work with Lilacor in hand. Can't even get to him. Wow, there's more. Whoa, easy there. Guys. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, he might need a little help here. Oh, easy there, Minsk. Alright, one down. Alright, come on. 
Get in this face. I'm oh, getting used out of those healing potions. Alright, um, let's hurt this thing. Flame arrow. Yeah, that got his attention. Whew. Crazy. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. I go. Something you need. Whatever I can do to help. Well, we got rid of that threat at least. Who says what? Just name what you want. Where should I get dance on the head of a pin as well? Ooh, lots of shiny valuables. Very nice find. Necklace of Form Stability. Daidara of the Altered was a witch of great temp temper who rewarded the slightest insult with harsh punishment. Often this meant several weeks transformed into some form of wild beast, which of course earned her many enemies. It is recorded that she once fought a mage named Maxel, who had previously suffered such a fate. Before his return, he had prepared this necklace, designed to prevent her changing his form, but he could not shield those around him as well. Apparently, an impromptu army of farmers turned bears eventually overwhelmed him. Plus five to all saves versus polymorph. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like uh, strategy overcame him. Immunity to poison is more important for him. Magic resistance, yeah. Necklace of missiles, useful for dealing damage. And he just has a oh, amulet of protection. Necklace of form stability could be useful, and uh, this necklace of missiles, I'll just keep that as a resource that Yan can use when he needs to project some nasty magic at enemies. I think that will be sufficient. I would Either way, though, well done, Minsk, on getting rid of those enemies. Anything else? Looks like just the chest. Is willing. Gold, scroll, and another oil of haste. Carry on summons. That's an interesting looking spell. Two parts of this spell. When cast the first part is to open up a small portal which will summon one or two carrion crawlers to a point designated by the wizard. The second part of the magic mutates the carrion crawlers into larger, more vicious versions of themselves. It's control of the creatures. Interesting. That could be useful in limited circumstances. Carrot is definitely going to save that. Oh wow, I'm just printing out of scroll case space. <laughs> oh well then. Carrot would want to see this, uh, this poor little bard here. Hair to lease. Why he, uh, he doesn't seem to be waking up from his trance. Serve only Master Macrath. Yeah. And saying, hmm, this man's a zombie for sure. Just with all the inconvenience of rotting flesh and oozing brains. Boy, making someone into a servant like this is a master stroke. No complaints, no union meetings, no requests for a raise. All the benefits of the undead without the smell. Hmm. And would that be Mechrath who managed to pull that off? Not sure. Real is shy, seems to think so. Well, either way, invisibility on Yoshimo. You're right behind me, right? So he can go looking for traps. Hmm, apparently there are methods here. And trap chests. Might as well deal with those traps while invisible. That doesn't look good. Now this looks dangerous too. Oh, yep, that looks like that's Mechrath there. Hmm. 
I wonder if he can get in a sneaky backstab real quick. I don't know. I think he should just remain invisible for now. Just send in our warriors here to deal with the methods. Come on, guys. We can walk through a hallway together, can't we? There you go. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. Perhaps a little bit of an annoying fight, but manageable. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. All right, these appear to be locked. I can't. I'm allergic. Well, all right, I'm not that allergic. No, you aren't, sir. All right, he's got potions and scrolls. And golden scrolls. What is this? Perhaps you can identify it with that handy dandy scroll. Potion of invulnerability. This potion confers very high resistance to all attacks while giving bonus to all savings throws. The effects of the elixir last for five turns but can only be used by warriors. It has a strange murky quality to it that you haven't noticed in other potions. Uh, <laughs> junk potion. You can always tell. Uh, let's give him that. Alright, good. Well, these are just common utilitarian spells that will probably just have Yan sell. Potion of stone form. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's swell. Okay, then. I suppose we should go speak with Mechrath, then. I thought Thing is, I want to kind of get the drop on him. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnip still in the corner. Alright, let's go with area invisibility. Oh man, it didn't affect Minsk. Alright, toss him that invisibility potion because he's too damn stupid to stand close enough. Alright, fine. Alright, everybody, let's file in there to Mechrath's uh, chamber. And, uh, we'll talk to him. The bigger they are, the harder I hit. He might notice, oh, seems kind of loud in here. Kind of swore I might have heard of something. Course. Something a little bit odd. As you would have it. What could that be, yes, though? Yes, yes, a standard tactic. I wouldn't that. dream of refusing. All right, I'm going to let you yes. hear be the one who talks to him. It is done. Something stranger. What is this? Intruders within Mechrath's domain. What brings you here, foolish woman? Speak quickly, for I do not suffer errant fools gladly. Well, Jahira is pretty uh, straightforward about this kind of thing, and she doesn't take nonsense, so I suppose she would say, I am here to free Herr Delis, your captive. Give him to me now. Give you the little thief. Now why would I do such a thing when he has made such a perfect little slave, hmm? Alright, just how angry would you hear her be? What would she say? Jahira really doesn't like evil wizards. So she's not going to bargain with him. She will protest though. Thief! What are you talking about? He's an actor. Perhaps he is at that. It matters little to me. He stole into my sanctum as a thief. I captured him and it amuses me to keep him as my slave. Jigger saying, I thought you kidnapped him because of his gem. His gem? Ah, that gem. I see what game you were up to, little woman, and it shall not work. I'll not be divested of my gem by thieves and fools. What are you talking about? What game, Jahira says, now confused. 
I tire of this constant barrage of thievery. You shall not get your hands upon my gem, little woman. Now you shall suffer the other one's fate. Oh, crap. He became hostile. Alright, everybody. Uh, let's stop him from casting before bad stuff happens. Um, hmm. He seems to have summoned some undead, and uh, despite our spell bombardments, it didn't interrupt him. Come on, hit him fast. Ooh, okay. That worked. Alright, Magic Missile Bombardment did the trick, but not before... Oh wow, a bunch of contingencies just went off. He tried to cast Death Spell on Yoshimo. Thankfully it didn't work. Uh, a whole bunch of contingencies went off. Minor Spell Turning, Protect from Normal Weapons, and Spell Immunity. Oh. Apparently he had some magical equipment on him. And healing potions, those are always good. 